everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. All right, so time to get into our newest Make a Junk Journal with Me series. These are so fun. I've got organized and it's time to do a boho journal. So if you would like to make this exact same boho journal as me, you can do that. I'll just give you a quick little look, sneak peek at this one. Um, I'm not sure if the flip through will already be on my channel or if that's coming up later, not sure. But we're going to try doing an embellished journal and yeah, it's going to be fun. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Um, so this video is just the intro and I'll give you a look at all the materials you need so that you can have some time to go away and get them or rummage around your house <laughs> to find them. So yeah, so what we need is, let's go through the tools kind of first. I have a ruler and a pacer, just pencil, pen or whatever will do, any kind of marker. My scissors, of course if you have a paper trimmer you can use that too. I'm using a Bostic glue stick. Um, you could also use any kind of glue that works for you. I have my craft glue here, that's what I would use if I was only going to be gluing things in. I am going to be using a sewing machine for all of this, so I'm going to stitch around the cover and all of my embellishments are going to be sewn in, but you definitely don't need a sewing machine to follow along, you can just use whatever glues um, suit you best. So those are some glues. For the binding we need the awl of course, a needle, so I use a tapestry needle here, it has a big eye, big eye. Yes, <laughs> and then I use bobby pins to keep the pages in place, but you can use bulldog clips or paper clips, clips, and then some embroidery thread. You can use wax linen thread or whatever you use for the binding. Okay, for our cover, we're going to use a paper bag. I'm using a brown paper lunch bag, but you can use a white bag, or if you only have a small size or a bigger size, whatever, it doesn't matter at all. Um, you can adapt this to suit you, but this is going to be a beginner series so that anyone can do this and if you want to follow along to the T, like having a recipe or a method or structure, this video can help. But of course, if you're more advanced, you can adapt this to suit you however you would like. So paper bag for the cover and then let's get on to our pages. So. It is a little more advanced this series than other Make a Junction With Me series though because we are going to be embellishing using the sewing machine and I've got a range of different papers we're going to be using this time. But if you don't have these supplies, just use normal plain paper. So for example, if you don't have doilies or envelopes, I mean they're pretty easy to find, but if you want to just use plain paper instead of the pages, go for it. But I've coffee dyed an, a window envelope and a doily. And I also have a piece of tracing paper vellum. Again, if you don't have this, um, just use a normal piece of paper, substitute it for whatever you want. And I also have this. Now, I just went to the op shop and picked up a few photo albums and cut out all the pages. So these are photo pockets. Oops, so you can see there's a pocket there and there's pockets on the other side. So if you fold that in half, it makes this awesome pocket page in the journal. Of course, if you don't have this, don't worry at all. Just use maybe a second envelope if you want to have a pocket page or just use a normal plain paper page. I do have two blue pages here. Again, if you don't have colored paper, just use plain copy paper. So these are going to be our pocket pages though. These are the ones where we're going to do some fun pocket type things and I like using color paper to make it stand out even more. So two blue because we're going for a mostly blue themed journal with the kit that we're using for the cover. And then I have nine coffee dye pages. So these are going to be our filler pages, our blank pages for the writing space and that kind of thing. Now my coffee dye is quite grungy. I'm going for a grungy boho journal for this one. Um, so, but if you just want to use plain white pages, you know, go for it. Use whatever pages you have and just see how you go. But nine of those so that we have 16 feature type pages, 16 interesting pages, pocket pages, pocket, em uh, pocket <laughs> photo album page, envelope, doily, tracing paper. So there are our interesting pages. Then we've got our nine blank pages. So then these are our feature pages. Let me <laughs> explain the feature pages. These are the ones that have 
a pattern on them already, a pretty design, so that you don't really got to have any writing spaces on these ones. I mean, you can if you want, and you can create your own writing space with like adding your own journaling spots and things like that. But this is why I call them feature pages. So this is the kit in my Etsy. It's the Boho Journal Kit. There are 15 pages already formatted. So all you need to do is push print and it will print out the exact same thing, hopefully, the <laughs> thing that you see here. So the first two pages on that kit are the cover. So I print these out. Oh, that is double sided. <laughs> that shouldn't be double sided. Hang on a second. Swap that out for this one. <laughs> I've got so many of these printed, it's ridiculous. So, I print the first two pages single-sided because this is going to be our front cover, this is going to be our back cover. So I will tell you printing instructions if you're going to use the exact same kit. The next pages, I do print double-sided. Oh, actually, so yeah, that's what happens. That's why I've got this. I even, the first two pages that has your cover, I also print double-sided. So you can see it's double-sided here. So that becomes a page and not just a cover. And then the first five pages of the kit, I print double-sided, just a normal copy paper, 80 GSM. So i just show you, these are the first five pages. So these are gonna be five feature pages in our journal. Now the next pages, print them all single-sided. These are your pockets. So I've already got ready-made pockets here for you that we're going to use to embellish. So we've got one, two, three pages of pockets that are horizontal, but we're going to do some creative things. We're going to cut these out and I'll show you how I cut these in different ways to give different looks to pockets. But then we also have our side pockets and I'll also show how I cut these out to make journal cards and tags and things later on. So yeah, we have that. So what I do though, I print one copy of the pockets single-sided on plain copy paper, normal copy paper, 80 GSM. But then what I also do, I print those five pocket pages on 200 GSM glossy paper too. You don't need glossy, just thicker cardstock because these will be my tags and journal cards. The 80 GSM copy paper, that's how I create my pockets. Of course, you don't need to do the same weights of paper, just have a play around with whatever weights of paper you have, but that's how I do it. Anything that's a pocket is just the normal 80 GSM weight. If I'm using a card stock, if I'm using a tag or journal card, I want something a bit thicker that I can write on. So I just like the weight of 200 GSM. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm using for that. And that's how I do the kit. So I'll link um, Willow Bound Journal's Etsy below if you would like to have the exact same kit. The other thing is you can choose what you want as your cover. I'm gonna show you which pages I'm using as my cover, but whichever one you want to use as your cover, just print that single-sided. And you know, that would make a lovely cover too. That would make a lovely cover. So you can choose whatever you want to be your cover. Then I'm actually making a vintage French boho journal just for some added interest. <laughs> um, I love pairing boho with other themes like botanical or vintage French. So this one's going to be a vintage French boho journal. So this is what's making up the rest of my feature pages. There are 10 feature pages, five from the boho kit, double sided, and five from the vintage French receipts kit in my Etsy as well. I believe that's what it's called. So what I do with this, if you're wondering, this is set up a little bit differently. You get the individual files as JPEG picture images. So you just drag them into Word and then size them big, size them as big as you want. I would probably recommend sizing them smaller than this because when you fold them and cut them out, they're still too big for the journal. So I had to cut them down a little bit here but it doesn't matter too much. And then I print them double-sided. So I, I just drag them all into Word, size them full page size, and then print them double-sided. Now there are more pages than five if you print them double-sided, um, but we use an extra one to be a piece of ephemera in the journal that I paper clip in, for example. So I show you how different ways of using the kits and that kind of thing. But those are the pages. Again, you don't need the same things as me. Find your own pages. If you just want um, 20 blank pages, go ahead and do that. Or if you want to use some scrapbook paper or something to be your feature pages instead of the receipts or instead of the boho pages, you can definitely do that. 
Um, I do have one other option as well. I have a kit that I have formatted. It's not in my Etsy, but if you would prefer just to get this exact kit where you can push print, you don't have to do any formatting or anything like that, just contact me. I can make that available if you would like um, through PayPal or something, and I can email that to you directly. So all you need to do is download it to your computer or whatever, uh, or iPad and just push print. Hopefully it prints out the exact same way. I can't guarantee it though. I don't know what everyone's system is. Um, but when I push print, that's how it comes out. So hopefully it's the same as yours. Um, so yeah, all my kits are around $5 in my Etsy. So yeah, I'll make this one $5 as well if you would like that option. And then the last thing, of course you don't need this, but because it's vintage French, I wanted to add a bit more vintage French. This is the vintage French envelopes kit in my Etsy. And I use this for pockets and journal cards. So I print this twice once on um, normal 80 GSM copy paper for my pockets and 200 GSM glossy paper for my journal cards. So yeah, I just print out that kit. This is what it looks like. And I haven't used the entire kit for this. You don't need that much. You could if you want, but there's a lot of envelopes in that kit. And there's also the backs of the envelopes. You can get it. I think this is only the fronts of the envelopes that I've used in this kit as well. But um, same thing with that. It's uh, you get the individual images, just drag them into Word for to a page and print. If you struggle to do that and want a formatted kit, I can send you the one that I have already formatted again, but just contact me. It'll be through PayPal, $5 through PayPal if you want that option as well. I'm sorry if this is really complicated, um, but I just want to give you all the options in case, um, you know, so you can choose what you want to do for you um, and whatever's going to be easiest for you. Just letting you know the options available to you guys. And that is the end of the materials that you need. Um, of course you don't need them, like I said, I really want to reiterate that you definitely don't need to use the same things you see here, don't get daunted, don't get overwhelmed, if you just want to go for the most basic plain pages, just use what you have at home, and you got this, you got this, I just want to, I hope that this series, all it does is encourage you guys to make your own journal, and that it's not scary, especially if you're a beginner and you've never embellished a journal or you've never done something a bit more advanced like this using different types of pages and different kits. Um, hopefully you can follow along to the T and you can feel a bit more confident and comfortable doing something a little more advanced like this. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, if I've missed anything, just ask below. I'm happy to help. Um, my aim here with this series, like I said, is just to help you make a journal and feel comfortable and com confident doing that. So, yeah, um, let me know in the comments also if you're going to follow along. Let me know when you've got your materials ready so I can start this series. Um, I might give it a few days for people to get the materials, I'm not sure, but the videos will always be there. You can always come back to them and play them again if you need to. Uh, check out the Willow Bound Journals Facebook group page as well. That's where you can ask me questions as well um, and share your projects of your Boho Journal in progress. I'd love to see them, what, whatever you make. And yeah, all right. I think that's all I've covered. Just to check the description box below for everything. And so excited to make a Boho Journal with you guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.